Hello, Vault Dwellers, and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout 3 Let's Play series. You join me just over here from the Pilgrim's Landing, where I'm going to check out this little campsite. I think it's the Beachview Campsite. Looks like we do have some enemies, so I wanted to go ahead and get this area marked on our map. Yeah, looks like we've got some locals here, so we should probably take care of them. And we're going to be doing the Dark Heart of Black Hall today. Nice. Ooh, okay, you'll get me. Not if I get you first, though. Looks like we got some swamp gas here. Not really much of a location here. It's just nice to have the fast travel point, I think, is our main objective with coming here. Whoa. Grab some psycho. I thought I heard something right behind me. Maybe it was a dog. Looks like they had a lot of beer here. And, oh, some shotgun shells. I think I'm good on the rest. Take the jet. And the Medex. They do sell really well. Looks like we have some more jet over here. And it looks like he had a brother. So I suppose we should go and take care of him. Get a little bit closer here. Who? Wait a minute. You're... You're a tow bar. Where are you going? I have never seen you leave the boat before. You are. Are you going over to Haley's Hardware? Oh, let's follow him. He's going in the direction we need to go. Good thing he doesn't know we're behind him. Oh, nope. He's going over towards Haley's Hardware. Okay. Well, we'll let him mind his own business while we head over in this direction. I think we are looking for a book that we need to take back to Black Hall Manor. Although I have a feeling it's not going to be as easy as it seems. We've discovered the ritual site. Nice. I'll give you a little pokey there. Whoa. Let's get your little brother over there. Who's that? I wish we could frenzy them so they would attack each other. That would be really nice. Oh, I think I missed him. He moved just as I was shooting. Yeah, check your brother out. Side shuffle. Yeah, stupid noises. Sorry about that, dude. I'm going to just take all that. What were you going to do with the BB gun? Oh my goodness, he had 28 frag grenades. That would have hurt. Holy bobbles. He was loaded and ready to go, wasn't he? Alright, looks like we need to go down into the cellar. I think we should be very, very careful here. I have a feeling this is kind of a trap. I think we can probably safely turn our light on, though. Make sure we look for bear traps and frag mines on the floor as we're going through here. Oh, holy bobbles, this does not look good. I wonder if we should lay some mines out on our way through. Oh, maybe we should. This place has got like a really dark aura about it, doesn't it? Let's just turn ourselves around. And we are going to pop one right there. Can always pick them up on the way back out. Go. 
you guys hear that like low hum in the background? Oh, it's really weird. I think I've got four left. I think we're good for the minute though. Whoa. Looks like we got a way down that way. Got stuff going on over in this direction. Ooh, very creepy. Very creepy indeed. Drop one there. We still have two left. I think we're good. The swamp gases don't help anything, I'm telling you. Alright, I think we're okay. There's nothing hiding back in here. It's in this direction. Just a pool of gas. Ooh. Those are so weird. Alright, let's go back this way now. And we'll go down this other hallway. Got my frag mine there. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that placement. I'm going to lay one right there. And we've got our last one. I think I'm going to set it right about there. So let's go back to our gun. Oh, look at this. This is so creepy. Got some nasty water there. Let's try and avoid that. Oh, wow. They got a bunch of bits up there. I feel sorry for the poor guy who... Um, I don't think those stem packs were helping him any. This poor guy. I wonder who he uh, made angry. So there is our book. We are going to take it. Ooh. Return the Quebec neck or to Obadi Obadiah or... Yeah, I told you. I knew this was a trap. I knew it. But it looks like our minds were working. I think we got a few of them. We are definitely going to let him stay on that side of the table. I don't know. Oh, yep. Yep, yep. I knew that was coming. Oh, yep. Switch. Switch. Ouch. We missed him. There we got him. Ooh, I knew that was going to happen. This room was really too small to be uh, trying to do that with. Uh-oh. We're still in caution, though. Did they get all our minds? That's the question. Is our light still on? No. Yeah, it was. Wow. That's really a dark pit. How many of them did we kill, though, is the question. Oh, they're still hitting the mines. That's good. We got, oh, we got, oh, we got bunches of them. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, ideas. We've got options. We have 35 frag grenade options. Oh, nope, that's going to bounce back. But we got him. We got lucky. Let's see. Can we bat him with it? That works for me. I think we did some damage. Oh, no, no, no. Shh. Here, hold that. Oh, I think we missed him. Oh, he's going to hit me. Got him. Yep, you can go crazy all on your end there, dude. There we go. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fun, actually. We'll take his moonshine. It sells for really good money. All right, let's clean up these bodies and see who all's left. There we 
go. Oh, I can still hear that low-grade muttering in the background. It's really creepy. Oh, I didn't see that way over there. Let's go check out this side. What's over here? Probably just another hollowed out room. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. They had wine. Oh, the garden gnome. Thought that they were the ones behind all this. Very weird. What was that? Oh, green plate. All right. Well, I guess we do see some strange sights in the wasteland, and this has got to be one of the strangest. Let's bobble on out of here. I think we still have a couple more people we need to take out, it sounds like. Do I look at you? I did look at you. Alright, let's check over this way and see if our mine is still there. Yes, it is. So we are going to take that one back. Wait a minute. Those shotgun shells weren't there before. Hmm. Back there? I don't know. I'm starting to get a little bit creeped out, and I think um, I'm ready to get out of here. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yeah. They definitely came through this way because our mines are all gone. So, yay for, whoa, not all of them. At least we had the foresight to put them down. Looks like we should have had them a little bit um, further back down the hallway I figured they would come in through this door so they must have had another entrance interesting all right well let's get out of here and uh, luckily we are not in caution anymore so I think we should be safe to tra fast travel back over to Jebed or Obadiah I don't know why I want to keep calling him Jebediah oh let me remove that now, we could take it over here, but I think we're actually going to take it up here, yes. Alright, I had a thought. You know, I have never taken it to her first. Let's see what happens if we do. I think it'll be fun to do this quest in a little bit of a different way than what I usually do it in. And it won't take us very long to get over here. Oh, wow. It is very foggy and nasty out over in this part of the world, I will say. Oh, it looks like we have some mole rats. Okay. Not too concerning. They go down easy enough. And we get our XP, which is what we need. Oh, looks like we've got some tents over here. So this must be what we're looking for. And I don't remember her name. Oh my. That's probably not good. Is that? Who is that? Uh-oh. We have smugglers here. Well, I hope everything is okay. I hope they haven't done any damage or hurt our little friend over here. Oh, I think I totally missed him. I did. Okay, well, we found the disaster relief outpost. Maybe we should toss some of those grenades out. We still have 30 of them. 
let's get you and can we toss one over here there we go that helped can we get both of them we didn't get them both but that's okay we can take him out easily enough there we go nice but we got some really good damage off on him and we leveled up nice I'm going to start putting it into of our explosives as well as energy weapons. Let's get our energy weapons up to 50, even though we're not using them right now. And the rest is going to go into barter. And let's continue. Do we learn anything new? Solar power, Grim Reaper Sprint, Action Girl. Actually, I wouldn't mind having Action Girl. Yeah, let's go action girl this round. Thank you. Oh, nice. We get some fingers. We haven't collected any of those in a while. I'm surprised we didn't get them off of the locals. Maybe they're just crazy and not me evil. Hmm. I don't know, but let's check out all these tents, see if there's anything in them, and see if we can find the person we're looking for. Well, definitely, uh, looks like this tent's seen some better days. Just grab all that, and that looks like that's about all that's in here. There's a couple of medicine boxes. Ooh, bobby pins. Nice. We always need those. Let's check over in this one. Oh, wow. Okay, nothing in this one, too. We'll grab the first aid, though. Confederate hat, nothing by the door. Bunch of bags of yeast. Why would you have yeast in a medical tent? All right, well, we've got that one and we've got this one. Let's try this one here. Ah, Marcella's tent. Oh, no. They've killed her. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's check her body. She has a safe key and some stem packs. Alright, there's a holotape here. Let's take her last words. They attacked while I slept. I I don't expect to survive. I only pray that. <coughs> You haven't taken that book to Obadiah. You must take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy the Krivbekne. But you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the capital wasteland. Seek a place called Dunwich. Within is an obelisk itself a, a wicked thing it'll consume the book you need only press the book to its surface may god shed his blessings upon you child make haste for dunwich my god i am sorry for all my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing too good. I have sinned against you, whom I should All right. Well, they came over here and killed her. I wonder if that was on Obadiah's orders. More than likely. But 
Looks like she's got a pre-war book. And I think we are going to check out her terminal. The latest entry is an audio file. Okay, so that was probably the holotape we just listened to. Was able to intercept an outsider Obadiah had sent after the Kobavnik. I only hope my appeal to goodness was enough. I can't pay what he's offering. I'll pray for the outsider's survival and that the Kobavnik finds its way to me, not Blackhall. Met local by name of Obadiah Blackhall. He lives in an old manor by himself. Class A manipulator. He solicited me to recover a book, which he claimed to be a family heirloom. The man gives me a bad feeling. I want to investigate this book and his connection to the swamp folk of the region, but he was reluctant when pressed for more information. Confirmed Black Hall connection with regional beliefs. Appears that a recent ancestor to Obadiah named Constance Blackhaw acquired obscure text known as Krabevnik. Not good. Have heard mention of the book before. Must destroy. Tobar the Ferryman. Ferryman, quite a character, dubious on the faith, but tolerant at least to hear my ministrations. Seems there's quite a bit more to the man, and he certainly isn't without the smell of sin about him. We'll visit periodically while on lookout to preach if he'll have me. Tribal culture. The tribal culture occupies major sanctuary to faith in the region. The Cathedral of the Ark and Dove would love to mine location for artifacts or any intact text, but residents openly ostracize outsiders. Have offered to induct me into their tribe, tempting to undertake their oaths as a reuse to gain access, but moral reservations are too great. And travel journal? The Pit. Took shelter with a merchant caravan during a windstorm. More worrying tales from the pit. I wonder if my purpose will take me there one day. For now I must continue eastward to the Commonwealth. I've done what good I can here. Need to get out before it catches up with me. Was able to barter passage on a boat headed south. Don't know where I'll end up, but that's the nature of his work. Tobar tied the Duchess up in the capital wasteland. I spent the afternoon trading at a place called Rivet City. Broke bread with a father Clifford. Inspirational to see another believer of the faith. Must make my way back here soon. Alright, so not really all that much. But we did learn a little bit more about Obadiah. And I have a feeling... Oops, I didn't want her... Her uh, yeast. We'll probably drop that off in the safe. And while the safe is stealing, we are going to go ahead and take everything in it. I don't think she needs it anymore. I'm going to drop that. It's way too much weight. And we don't need it. Yeah, and we lost karma, but that's okay. Our karma is extremely good. We can do a little stealing here and there without compromising it. And it looks like we have some ammo in here. Nice. And another terminal. Let me empty out these. Whoa. There, we finally got it. And we'll just take all of that. Nice. Unit mission parameters. Evaluate medical and social needs of the local populace, raise awareness of health risk, and provide aid on a local need. Oh, this could probably be pre-war. New plague. Know the signs. Safeguard yourself and your community by knowing how to identify a person suffering the, from the new plague. Common symptoms include profuse sweating, unexplained contusions, massive external hemorrhaging, New ideas uh, such as socialism. Oh, I bet these are, yeah. 
The new plague is what's commonly known as a social disease. This means that the new plague is especially contagious and can be commonly caught in the course of social interactions such as the ice cream social, cruising Main Street, promiscuous activity, attending fairs or festivals. So what's the best protection against social disease? Why not stay home and enjoy a novel or a home-cooked meal, limiting your exposure to others? Oh, good gravy. Is the best and most surefire way to avoid contracting the new plague. Well, that just sounds horrible. Unit lead logs. Arrive with the first carload of volunteers. Yeah, definitely pre-war. For now, I'll focus on setting up our overreach with Victoria while the rest of our volunteers get out into the community. Oh, these were like, well, yeah, they, they were like that. All right, let's head back over and collect our pay from Obadiah. Now, that does not mean, no, we're not going there. Does not mean we are not going to be heading towards the Dunwich building and completing the, the quest Marcella's way. It just means we're taking a little bit of a detour because I do believe we were promised a thousand caps. And I would kind of like to have those thousand caps. Not that we're really hurting for caps in the grand scheme of things. All right, Obadiah. The book, you found it. Quickly, give it to me. You have the caps, you get the book. Yes, yes, of course. Here's your errand fee. Now give it to me. All right, there you go. And now he's gonna bobble off. And we're just gonna follow him. Let's wait and see where he's going and what he's actually gonna do with the book. Ooh, plastic. Ooh, I've got a basement. There he is. Ooh. Oh, so you're not going to use it for what you were saying you were going to use it for. Well, we'll just fix you really quick. And we are going to take the Krabevnik back. So the next time we are in the wasteland, oh yeah, we're going to head to the Dunwich building, my least favorite building in the whole game. But we would have to go there anyways because there's a bobblehead there as well. And it's it's an interesting building. I will give it that. So we never did actually come in and explore this whole place, did we? And that did not take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Figured we'd have a few more things we would have to do. I'll grab you. But seems like not. Oh my goodness, I thought somebody was standing there. Just a mannequin. Don't remember there being all that much in any of these rooms. Not really all that much to explore. There we go. Just force the lock. I guess if you were looking for vision batteries, this would be a good place to come. Is this Obadiah's room? I think we're good on all that. Definitely good on all that. Not much here, like I said. So More ooh, teddy bear. We will take that. Yeah, I think we're good. Nice fancy smanchy bathroom at one time, I think. 
definitely a lot of crafting supplies if we were looking for them but i think we're actually doing pretty good our dart gun is holding up really well no this must have been obadiah's room the bed looks a little bit fancier why would you keep a fishing pole in your uh wardrobe hmm weird there we go not much wow two axes though it's a strange place to keep an axe anything on the bedside just a burned book all right well i will call this place explored so i suppose we should i guess go ahead and move on Let's find our stairs and get back out of here it's creepy 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 mm. It's a little bit further down of a drop than what I'm willing to uh, risk. That's a burned book. We've actually found quite a lot of pre-war books here. I'm shocked. Definitely add into our collection that I need to take over to um, the scribe. And I think, honestly only thing we really have left to do other than exploring a few locations the Dove Delta hmm sure yeah we just have that and we have the mine over there and then these areas up here that's pretty much all we have left to explore okay well let's head over here which it's over in this way don't remember what that area is hmm i suppose we'll find out soon enough though hmm doesn't really look like much of anything over here more just a, a little location we do need to hit the uh, fast travel point though. Sit out in the middle of the water. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's over like this way. Oh, air. Yeah, right in here. Hmm. Oh, I must have a shovel. Ooh. Where did I see a shovel at? Let's check on that dock over there. Don't remember ever needing the shovel over here. Maybe I've never come over here. Oh, we've got Mylarks and we've got bloat flies. I say we go to our lovely, lovely little grenades. Not the bloat fly. Not that blow fly either. Yeah, there we go. And I have 0% chance to edit. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, that's way too... Yeah. A little too close. There we go. nice this is fun it's like bobbing for apples come on walk over here oh we missed him on that one but it stunned him that one's a good one boink <laughs> that was fun let's see if there's a shovel over here if not, I know I've seen one somewhere. I'll have to see if I can remember where that was at. Could I maybe pick one up and put it in our locker? Hmm. Oh, wow. It's quite irradiated out here, though. I don't know. All right. Let's, uh, hmm, I'll grab that. 
Ooh, what's this here? Here marks the landing of Captain John Smith's shallop upon his discovery of Point Lookout in 1612. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll definitely be on the lookout for a shovel so we can find out what are in those little point or dig out spots. I'm kind of curious. It's probably just what? Some ammo? More than likely. Probably nothing major. But other than that, I think we've pretty much explored this whole section of the map. What else can we do today, though? Um, let me remove our marker. I think what we'll do is head over there, maybe? Maybe we should go there. Let's go there and just get these little spots cleared off. And then that way in tomorrow's episode, we'll be able to start the main quest of the DLC. Kind of get it all kicked off into two episodes more than likely. Unless I can get it all done in one. I would like to get it done in one if I could. Ooh. Yeah, I killed these guys, I think. Pretty sure I killed them at some point or another. Is there a shovel here? No, there's not. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, well we are like right on top of our location here. I just need to find the door. I think it's like right over... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, careful. Don't need to break a leg out to over here. Is this the entrance here? No, it's not. Maybe if I fast travel to the location. Sometimes I end up doing that. Let's do that. Whoa, there we go. Alright, found it. Oh, wait. And we found a shovel. Lovely. Alright, this mine. I'm kind of glad we decided to come over here. Um, yeah. No reason to ever come here, but it's kind of cute. Cute go back to here so yeah definitely we've got our shovel now definitely no um, reason to really come over here but it's got someone in here we would like to meet we do need to be careful because it seems to be a little bit haunted Should probably turn our light on to look for traps. I think this place is a little booby trapped. I think that's the way we want to go, but I'm going to grab the mines. We did use a bunch of them. I don't know how I'm going to get all this stuff back to the wasteland. And no, 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 no. I heard that baby. How do we... Oh, we're not disabling that. Hmm. I don't see any grenades hanging from the ceiling, so we're just going to bobble over that. Looks like some miners died down here. Drinking a beer on the job, huh? Are those school voices I'm hearing now? Very strange mind indeed here. Ooh, looks like we got some bear traps. Oh, I bet 
that hurts. Um. Ah, flashlight and we hit the, uh, must have hit a trip mine. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he's got him buried or something. Holy bobbles. Let's fix our leg real quick. I've been trying to be careful, but apparently not careful enough. There we go. Any more? Oh, we got... Well, we had a guy. Thank goodness he set that off and not us. Jeez, Louise, his little body didn't even last, did it? It just kind of blew into everything. Got some extra mine pieces here. Ah, there's another shovel. Nice. What are you looking at? A head wrap. Interesting. Alright, let's head through this door. And I think we should be pretty good now. I don't think this part is trapped. At least I hope it's not trapped. I do hear a noise though. We want to go this way. Oh, did I miss it? Ooh, I think I might have missed what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. I think it's right over here, right? Yeah, this is where we want to go. Almost went too far. Ah, you're shooting a BB gun. Whoop. You made it past my traps? Uh, I mean, get out of here, lady. Aren't you afraid the ghost will get you? Ghost, where? We better get out of here. Yeah, you better scram. If he looks you in the eyes, your brain will melt. So, the traps and noises, that was all you? So what if it was? I'm bagged meaner than you, and I'll do it again. Settle down, I'm not going to hurt you. Well, all right. But any funny business, and I'll pop you on. My name's Kenny, and I'm the boss of this mine. Well, tell me about yourself, Kenny. Did you know I once bagged a mile or 10 feet tall? Wow. Where are your parents? I don't know. I ran away a long time ago. I live here all by myself. Why did you run away from home? I wasn't born right. Mama hid me in the basement, and Pappy kind of just forgot about me. But I knew I had to go before I grew up. What do you mean you weren't born right? Look at me! I don't get the marks! I go around the wets and folk will shoot at me, thinking I was one of your type. Ah. Well, how, where'd you learn how to make traps like that? I got bored locked up in the basement all the time. So, I started taking things apart and putting them back together again. Things aren't so strange when you can see all the stuff that makes them. You know, see something's insides? That's what the real thing is. So, Kenny, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm grown up enough already, and I'm the only thing I can be. Me. Good answer. What's it like living in Point Lookout? The grown-ups like my mom and pop just live in the wet. They're okay. They just don't trust outsiders like you. Most think I'm an outsider, too, because I don't got the markings on me. I tend to stay away from the grown-ups. Except when nice. they have a campfire. Some nights I hear them dancing. Then I sneak out to watch. Hmm, okay. Well, can we talk about some other stuff? I was getting tired of that anyway. Alright, well tell me about this mine, Kenny. Old Man Herzog's mine hole isn't much, but it's home. Well, tell me about the old man. He was a mean old man. Owned this mine a million years ago. Made the miners work real hard. And didn't give them any money or food for their kid. One day, a bunch of miners sat down and just stopped working. Old man Herzog, he didn't like that. Not a bit. So he blew them all up. 
with a million, million tons of dynamite. Mm. No one wanted to work on the mine after that. Then old Herzog came down here and hung himself. They say his angry ghost still haunts the mine. Yeah, it doesn't scare me, though. Wow. Well, why are you hiding out down here? Swamp folk know old Herzog's mine hole say it's haunted. So I knew most folk wouldn't want it this way, except outsiders like you. Doesn't usually take more than a clapper jaw and a leg to scare them off. Hmm. <laughs> well, how'd you survive in here all alone? I go out to play some days. It might bag me a showman to eat. Most days, I just sit here with my stories and toys, though. Sounds kind of lonely. Sure. I was getting tired of that anyway. Well, this seems like a good hideout. I could use a place to crash and stash my gear. Hmm. I don't know, lady. You didn't try to kill me. And you seem pretty nice for a grown-up. But still, how do I know I can trust you? Well, there must be some way to prove I'm on your side. Besides, aren't you lonely? I used to have Kenny Bear around, but he fell down the big shaft back there. Too scary for me to go get him. Maybe you can, though. Scary? What do you mean? I don't go back there much. It's real dark, and there's lots of critters. You should be fine, though. Okay, I'll go get it for you. Gee, thanks. I dropped him near the shaft, so he's probably at the bottom. All right, well, I'm going to go look for him now. Okay, lady. All right, well, now we've met Kenny. Now we can head off and go get Kenny Bear for him. And this does make a good little uh, place to come and rest and drop your stuff off, but I doubt that I'll come back. I just wanted to show him off. I do like Kenny. Reminds me of my son a little bit when he was younger. Always taking things apart and putting them back together. Alright, so the shaft he's talking about, I think, is this one here. Hmm, can we... Ooh, looks like we have a Swamp Lurk Queen down there. Let's switch over to our grenades again, I think. They've been whoop, doing this really good today. Run! No, I didn't want to go down that quick. Yep, nope, I was good. I seriously did not want to come down here that quick. Uh, yeah. Hi. Oh, no, 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 Don't touch me, don't touch me. Yep, no, don't touch me. Seriously, don't touch us. Oh, come on, lady. Those bats are... Jeez, these things are tough. There we go. Wow, even a full grenade didn't take her out. That did it, though. Ooh, look. Bits and pieces everywhere. Cool. And uh, now we're in this nasty, filthy water. Oh, but... Look. Kenny bear. We found him. Nice. Now, how do we get back out of here? Oh, good gravy. That's a question. Uh-oh. Got another one. Ah, uh, did some damage. We do need to get out of this water soon, though. Boink! Oh, wow. Alright. These things are... Whoa, 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 whoa. wrong. There we go. Holy heck. Yeah, we don't need any of that. We just need to figure out how to get back out of here. And we are taking a lot of rads. So I wonder if Kiggy's story is true. We did see a lot of miners just sitting around. And there are a lot of skeletons around here. Oh, I had my light on? Oof. Oh, what do we have over here? Oh, wow. It looks like it may have been true. There is somebody hanging there. Hmm. It's very possible that that could be old man Herzog. Ooh. 
Oh, more than likely. Look at all this pre-war money laying around. He must have brought his money down here. And why, though? You can't take it with you when you go. Maybe he just wanted a last reminder of what he had done or what his greed had led him to do. So it looks like maybe, can we get out that way? Possibly. Let's head up. Oh no, hey, we got you guys. Yeah, we definitely did not want to go down that big old hole like that, but it's so far it's worked out for the best. I think we're going to be just fine. I think we can get back out this way. Oh, yeah. This is where we came in. We are absolutely fine. Lovely. Alright, let's tell Kenny the good news. And I think we're probably safe to stand up now. I hope he doesn't mind that we have a ghoul mask on, though. He seems like a pretty cool kid. Hello. Well, I found your teddy bear. Teddy bear! You're the greatest! So hey, you can use this place as your hideout if you want. Hide from the folk out there, stash your stuff, okay? Well, thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, what do you want to do now? You want to play a game? Like hide and seek or tag or something? Uh, let's play another time, okay? Fine. I didn't want to play with you anyway. I'm sorry. We're on a time crunch today, Kenny, but you are adorable, and I do like your hat a lot. And he also has a pint slice slasher mask, which I'm going to go ahead and take to repair up our other one. And, yeah, we definitely have a trunk here where we can sit and sleep and store our stuff. And we will go ahead and sleep for an hour. And now I'm going to go ahead and bobble us out, and we are going to go and check out what are in those little holes over in the, the Dove Cove area, is that what it's called? Ah, whoa. Alright guys, we are back over here at the Delta and I'm curious to see what is in these. Very weird. Why did we do that? There's more of them. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go in the water. Can't shoot your gun in the water. Oh. Whew. Good gravy. Don't need anything on there. Okay. Holy bubbles. Alright, we got a couple more to dig up. Oh, well, we could have uh, 
gotten a shovel here. There was a dead guy already here. I think I've got almost all of them. Oh, I bet our rads are just like astronomical right now. Ah, okay. I was right. Free war money and some ammo. Interesting. So, somebody was out here digging around in all these spots looking for a pre-war site where somebody had buried some treasure. Yeah, we've gotten them all dug up. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, guys. Well, I think with that... That is going to do it for the day. A little bit of exploration. And now we have the Krebeg neck that we need to take back to the wasteland when we are completely done and ready to leave Point Lookout. But for now, that is going to be it for me for the day. So thank you all so very much for joining me. I'm Boo Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.